Welcome to Coffee with the Supervisor. My special guest today is Lisa Lee with the New York Blood Center, and it's dealing with a topic that we all are familiar with. The vital of life is blood, and collecting blood and helping people who need blood is what the New York Blood Center does. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And Lisa's a neighbor. She lives in Santa Maria, just so, not, so do I, but let's talk a little bit about blood supply. Where are we with blood supply? Because I hear different times, particularly in the summer, uh, that there is a blood shortage or things of that nature. Tell me about how blood supply works. Okay, the uh, summer and winter is always a tough time for us. We're usually in a shortage through the winter and the summer. Summer, because the school's closed, PTAs are not available to us, the colleges are closed, that makes it very difficult. And then people go on vacation. Right. Sometimes the need is higher just because of people having a little, you know, partying too much maybe a little bit, some more car accidents, right. things happen. The winter time, we run into similar issues because of the holidays. People are busy. People get sicker. And uh, vacations. So this time is a, is a difficult time this in terms of, time. Uh, tell me a little bit about how a blood bank works and, and what does that involve? The New York Blood Center, essentially we collect blood. Right. We're a bank and we run blood drives all over Nassau, Suffolk, Queens, the city. We collect that blood, we bring it in, we test it, and we send it back out to the hospitals. That's essentially how it works. And what do the hospitals use it for? Patients that have cancer, accident victims, mostly use up the supply. The blood pint is only good, a pint of blood for 42 days. However, we usually So you only can't have, store it that long? No, but... But you don't even have that much blood on hand. Right. We only have about a three-day supply. Wow. Uh, it's very tricky. Sometimes we like to refer to it as driving with the gas light on. Uh, it's very hard to continually to have the right supply, the right types of blood for the patients. O negative is our most difficult one to keep on the shelf. Really? Yes. So if there was a crisis, major accident, something of that nature, that would really stress out the blood bank. Yes. With a three-day supply, that could all be used up. One snowstorm. Just one snowstorm cancels a day of blood drives, and we have got serious problems. Really? Serious problems. And it's likely to happen in January. So we, we get very concerned now, and we're in our shortage, and we're trying very hard to get this blood. As we're trying to climb out of the hole, a snowstorm will inadvertently happen in January or February, and it throws us right back in deeper than we were. So, 19 years I've been doing this. It's the same pattern. <laughs> so running a, a blood bank is not easy. No. Particularly when there's such a, a growing need and that different times of the year, holiday season, summertime, really stressed out because you have a lot of people doing other things and maybe not thinking about donating blood. And that's the truth. And you know what? This is, it's the Christmas time. It's the spirit of giving. Whatever holiday that a person is, to, is celebrating, it always involves giving right. and thinking of another person. So this is a great time to donate blood. So really, the best gift that you could give your neighbors and friends is by donating a pint of blood. And interestingly enough, we're having a blood drive on uh, December 19th. I don't know when this is air airing, but hopefully it airs in enough time so people can come down. Uh, but if they check with you, you if, if they can't make it to Town Hall on the 19th between 8.30 and 4 o'clock, they can donate blood at other locations. Yes, and the best thing to do to find a blood drive that is close and local to you and most convenient for your time is to go on our website, the www.nybc.org. By the magic of television, Jack, who is our producer, will put that right up so people will know, you know, how to reach you online or list your telephone number so they know where the blood drives are because it's Great. the best thing. Now, some people say, well, I have high blood pressure and diabetes. Uh, I can't give blood. Now, is that true? That is not true. If you have high blood pressure and you're on medication and your blood pressure is within our range, right. you will be able to donate blood and you'll get a little blood pressure check at the same time. Not wow. a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. And 
Some people say, well, I just took an aspirin and it kind of thins out the blood. It's probably not a good time to donate. True or false? False. If you have an aspirin, there's a question about it and on our form, and people get concerned and think they can't donate. That's not true. We'll just process that unit of blood differently because of the aspirin. We won't take the platelets out of it. And if a person has an aspirin, it's if you had a headache or a backache, it's okay to have an aspirin. Um, if they have a toothache that might be an infection, they may talk about that a little bit more. Right, because you're concerned. Now, all the blood you take in, you do test. Oh, yes, we do many, many tests on the blood. Our newest test that we've added was for babesiosis, which is right. a tick-borne disease, and it's very serious. And we will test every pint for that, and if anybody comes up positive, we'll notify that donor. Wow. Yes. That, that's, a, that's a helpful service. But it also assures someone that's getting blood in the hospital, because most of the blood that hospitals provide come through your uh, agency? Yes, over 200 hospitals is who we're serving. So in the metropolitan lot. area, yes, that including is Long Island. Of course, yes. So your blood is tested, you're the blood bank, the blood that the hospitals get come from you, and it's safe. It is very safe, and we also, um, I know people love to have those giveaways when they're donating blood. Everybody yeah. loves a little something, but uh, we have limits, strict limits on those giveaways uh, from the FDA because our blood is a volunteer donation, right. and that helps to actually ensure the safety of the pint of blood. We want to make sure people are really giving from the heart. Which is important because giving is part of life. Yes, uh, yes. If you're going to live a good life, it's not only all the things that you can get for yourself, but the things you can give of yourself to others. I couldn't have said it better myself. And uh, I have to tell you, blood is, is a very personal gift, but a very necessary good gift. Yes. So yes. at this holiday season, one of the things that would be very good to do, and maybe you won't get a medal pinned on your chest, but it's definitely one of the good things to do, is to give back to your neighbors and friends indirectly by contributing blood because blood is something that all of our hospitals need to do business. We absolutely need it. When patients need blood, they need it. And there's no rhyme or reason. We never know when it's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to be you or I. Right. We don't know who it's going to be, who's going to need that blood, and it always needs to be on the shelf and ready for whomever needs it. And we do a really good job at it. It's just hard work, but we do a good job. And we have wonderful partners like the town. Well, the to town, help us. I think we have three blood drives a year. Yes, you do. At, at the town. And um, we have a gal in my office, Sandy, that I won't say her last name on the air, but she does a great job. She's been with the town a long time. And she kind of is the leader for the town employees. Yes. And we get usually approximately 100 town yes. employees that give blood each one of the blood drives, but I know that is not enough. So I would encourage people, if you're free and you want to come up to Town Hall on Thursday, December 19th, between 8.30 and 4, we're having a blood drive in our auditorium. I know you're going to get orange juice and cookies afterwards. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have the satisfaction of knowing that your blood is going to help someone in desperate need. Yes, and each pint of blood that is donated does go on to help three patients. So when the town is giving us right. and helping us to collect these donations, at, it's usually over 100 pints each drive. That's over, over 300 patients that are going to benefit from that. That's wonderful. It's wonderful, but there's thousands of patients in yes. Long Island <laughs> hospitals alone, thousands. So I would encourage everyone to give a little bit of themselves, if they can, extend themselves at least once a year to give blood because That's it's the wonderful. best gift that we can give. When you look at a hospital and you see people very ill, having operations and stuff, I mean, they desperately need that blood. Yes, they do. So if there's a final message that we can talk about, what would, what would you say? I would say give blood, save a neighbor, please come to the town and help support us as we can continue to support our patients. We can't do what we do unless you folks do what you do. And if you can't make it, go online. And again, That's we'll right. put up uh, your telephone number and, and the website. Go online and, feel, uh, and determine if you can't make it on December 19th, what, where can I go and when can I go to donate blood? But plan to do it for at least once every year. That would be a wonderful gift.
Make it a New Year's resolution. <laughs> it would be a wonderful gift for all of us because it's the one thing that does give back to people in need. Yes, it does. Serious need. Thank you. Well, thank you for being on my show and Thanks for having congratulations. Me. Thank you. <laughs> Always a pleasure.